Step into the world of future space technologies that are set to transform how we explore the cosmos. From next-generation reusable rockets and advanced propulsion systems to orbital tugs and robotic spacecraft, these innovations promise faster, safer, and more sustainable space travel. Explore how they could revolutionize satellite deployment, planetary exploration, and human life beyond Earth. This video takes you through the cutting-edge developments shaping the next era of space exploration. Inversion Arc The Arc by Inversion Space is a cutting-edge re-entry vehicle engineered to transform rapid cargo delivery across the planet. Operating autonomously in low Earth orbit, it can descend on command and deliver payloads to nearly any location within an hour. Designed for reusability and precision, ARC uses advanced hypersonic maneuvering and robust landing systems that enable safe touchdown on both land and water without runways. Its compact payload bay can transport mission-critical items such as medical supplies, drones, and communication gear, ideal for defense, emergency, or research operations. The aerodynamic structure includes flaps, thrusters, and advanced heat shielding to handle extreme re-entry conditions while maintaining control at speeds above Mach 20. ARC also serves as a hypersonic test platform for real-world simulations under intense thermal and aerodynamic loads. By deploying multiple vehicles in orbit, Inversion Space aims to create an on-demand global delivery system that merges orbital reach with unprecedented speed and reliability. Blue Origin's Mars Telecommunications Orbiter Blue Origin's Mars Telecommunications Orbiter is designed to transform communication between Mars and Earth, serving as a dedicated relay hub for upcoming exploration missions. Developed on the Blue Ring Modular Satellite Platform, it integrates advanced communication systems capable of maintaining continuous, high-bandwidth data transfer between Mars orbiters, surface assets, and mission control on Earth. The MTO features multiple steerable high-rate antennas and a broad-beam transmitter to ensure wide area coverage complemented by smaller UHF relay satellites that extend communication to surface rovers and landers. Its hybrid propulsion system combining solar, electric and chemical thrusters enhances flexibility in maneuvering, mission timing and payload capacity. Built for autonomy, the orbiter includes onboard processing, AI-assisted data management and storage systems for real-time routing. Designed for long operational lifespans and adaptable mission profiles, MTO represents a crucial step toward establishing a stable, scalable Mars communication network that supports both robotic and future human exploration across the Martian system. Firefly Aerospace Blue Ghost The Blue Ghost lunar lander by Firefly Aerospace represents a major advancement in commercial lunar exploration. Built for precision and endurance, it delivers scientific and technological payloads directly to the Moon's surface under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program. Blue Ghost operates through all mission phases from Earth departure to lunar orbit and surface operations using systems optimized for communication, power, and thermal control. Its power system generates over 400 watts through solar arrays, supporting instruments that study dust behavior, surface composition, radiation resistance, and navigation technologies. The lander's propulsion system enables smooth descent and soft landing while its rugged thermal regulation maintains functionality in the Moon's extreme temperature variations. Onboard imaging systems provide visual feedback throughout the mission, ensuring safe deployment of scientific packages. Designed for scalability, future Blue Ghost missions will explore new lunar terrains, deploy rovers, and establish critical infrastructure for sustained lunar presence, bridging private innovation with deep space exploration goals. Sunbird's Nuclear Fusion Rocket the Sunbird by Pulsar Fusion is a pioneering fusion propulsion concept designed to redefine interplanetary travel. Using a dual direct fusion drive, it combines propulsion and onboard power generation in a single compact system. Operating as an orbital fusion tug, Sunbird would dock with spacecraft in low Earth orbit and provide thrust for deep space missions. Its design targets around 2 megawatts of output, offering both acceleration and electrical power for advanced payloads. With a projected specific impulse between 10,000 and 15,000 seconds, it could transport spacecraft weighing roughly 1,000 kilograms to distant destinations such as Pluto in under five years. The fusion-driven system eliminates the limitations of solar energy, enabling operations far from the sun while maintaining strong communications and scientific capability. Pulsar Fusion plans to validate its fusion core through ground testing followed by orbital demonstrations, establishing Sunbird as a next-generation platform for sustained high-speed exploration across the solar system. Dassault Vortex 
The Vortex by Dassault Aviation is France's ambitious step toward creating a fully reusable space plane for both civilian and defense applications. Designed for orbital missions and atmospheric return, it blends aircraft precision with spacecraft performance, capable of launching payloads, servicing satellites, or conducting orbital operations before returning to land on a runway. The program follows a phased roadmap beginning with Vortex-D, a one-third scale demonstrator built to test hypersonic re-entry, flight control, and thermal protection systems. Later versions Vortex-S, Vortex-C, and Vortex-M will advance toward cargo and crewed configurations. Its modular architecture allows orbital servicing, asset retrieval, and rapid redeployment between Earth and orbit. Featuring robust heat shielding, aerodynamic control, and reusability, the Vortex concept aims to reduce launch costs while expanding mission versatility. Supported by France's Defence Ministry and cooperation with the European Space Agency, Vortex could establish a new standard for sustainable, multi-mission European space access. ESA Future Space Transport Ecosystem The European Space Agency's Future Space Transport Ecosystem envisions a connected, reusable and sustainable framework for how Europe will operate in space. Developed under ESA's Future Launchers Preparatory Program, this system integrates reusable launch vehicles, orbital refueling, space tugs and standardized docking interfaces to enable continuous, flexible access to orbit and beyond. A major goal is to establish modular logistics where spacecraft can refuel, exchange payloads, and extend missions without relying on single-use launch systems. Supporting programs such as Thrust, Best, and First. Drive propulsion efficiency, booster recovery, and disruptive technology development, creating the backbone for future reusable launches. At the heart of the concept is Odyssey, an orbital service and refueling depot designed to store propellant, maintain satellites, and prepare missions heading toward the Moon, Mars, or deep space. By merging innovation and reusability, ESA's future ecosystem aims to cut costs, boost mission cadence, and establish Europe as a leader in orbital logistics and sustainable space transport. Rocket Lab Neutron The Neutron by Rocket Lab is a next-generation medium-lift reusable rocket built to redefine reliability and efficiency in orbital launch operations. Designed for commercial, defense, and scientific missions, it can deliver up to 13,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit while recovering its first stage for reuse. The rocket stands roughly 43 meters tall and uses liquid oxygen and methane propellants powered by Archimedes engines across both stages for high performance and clean combustion. Neutron's composite structure provides lightweight strength and streamlined aerodynamics, supporting rapid turnaround between missions. Its recovery system allows precision landings either back at the launch site or on an ocean platform named Return on Investment, enhancing operational flexibility. The vehicle will support payloads for satellite constellations, cargo delivery, and national security programs, including Rocket Lab's participation in advanced government logistics and defense contracts. Combining reusability, high lift capability, and sustainable design, Neutron positions Rocket Lab as a major competitor in global space launch services. Address J. The Address J by Astroscale Japan, developed in partnership with JAXA under the CRD2 program, is a groundbreaking mission designed to demonstrate the technology needed for active orbital debris removal. It focuses on approaching and inspecting a defunct H2A rocket upper stage that has been orbiting Earth without control, proving safe operations around large, uncooperative targets. Equipped with advanced sensors, high-resolution cameras, and smart navigation algorithms such as angles-only navigation and model matching navigation, Address J can detect, track, and analyze the tumbling motion of space debris with high precision. The spacecraft successfully executed fly-around observations within approximately 50 meters, later achieving a closer approach of about 15 meters before performing an autonomous abort for safety verification. These precise maneuvers validated Astroscale's capability for safe proximity operations. The mission's results serve as the foundation for Address J2, which will attempt physical debris removal, marking a vital milestone towards sustainable orbital cleanup and safer future space operations. Atmos Phoenix Capsule The Phoenix Capsule by Atmos Space Cargo is a European-designed re-entry system developed to safely return cargo from low Earth orbit to Earth. Its standout feature is the inflatable atmospheric decelerator, an inflatable heat shield that expands during re-entry, reducing speed, minimizing thermal stress, and protecting valuable payloads. With a payload capacity of around 100 kilograms, Phoenix is ideal for experiments in materials, science, biology, and in-orbit technology testing. 
The Phoenix-1 prototype flew aboard SpaceX's Bandwagon 3 mission, successfully demonstrating inflation of the heat shield under real atmospheric re-entry conditions while transmitting vital telemetry data. Although it was not designed for recovery, the mission confirmed the functionality of all major systems. The upcoming Phoenix-2 iteration will feature onboard propulsion for controlled descent, higher payload capacity, and improved communication capabilities. Through this innovation, Atmos aims to establish Europe's first reliable orbital return service, advancing scientific access and industrial use of microgravity environments. Blue Origin New Glenn Blue Origin's New Glenn is a powerful heavy-lift orbital rocket built for reusability, performance, and large-scale missions. Standing an impressive 98 meters tall, it features a 7-meter wide payload fairing, offering exceptional internal volume for satellites and multi-payload constellations. Its reusable first stage is powered by seven B4 engines, using liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas for efficient combustion and high thrust. Designed to fly up to 25 missions, the booster is equipped with aerodynamic strakes, fins, and deployable landing legs to perform controlled descents onto a sea-based platform roughly 1,000 kilometers downrange. The upper stage utilizes two B3U engines running on liquid hydrogen and oxygen, optimized for vacuum operation and capable of multiple restarts to reach demanding orbits like GTO or MEO. With a payload capacity of approximately 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit, New Glenn demonstrates Blue Origin's vision for high volume, reusable and cost-efficient space access, reinforcing the company's leadership in orbital launch technology. Honda Reusable Rocket Honda R&D has made a groundbreaking leap from the automotive world into aerospace innovation with its experimental reusable rocket, designed to demonstrate vertical takeoff, stable flight and precise landing capabilities. Leveraging decades of experience in combustion control, propulsion and automated systems, the rocket integrates vehicle-derived control algorithms for reliable reusability. The prototype stands 6.3 meters tall, 85 centimeters wide, and weighs about 1.3 tons when fully fueled. In a recent test at Honda's Taiki facility in Hokkaido, it reached an altitude of around 271 meters, maintained flight for 56 seconds, and landed within 37 centimeters of its target, an impressive result for early stage testing. The rocket employs thrust vectoring control for smooth maneuvering and autonomous landing guidance to ensure recovery precision. Although Honda emphasizes that the project is still in the fundamental research phase, the long-term aim is to achieve suborbital flight by 2029, positioning Honda as a promising new player in reusable rocket technology. NASA Habitable Solar System NASA's vision for a habitable solar system extends the search for life beyond Mars, exploring where conditions might allow liquid water and thus biology to thrive. Central to this vision is defining the habitable zone, the orbital region around a star where temperatures permit stable water on a planet's surface. NASA's upcoming Habitable Worlds Observatory is a key part of this plan. Designed to directly image Earth-like exoplanets, HWO will analyze their atmospheres for biosignatures such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. Building on concepts like Louvois and Habex, it combines next-generation optics and coronagraph technology to detect faint worlds orbiting bright stars. Alongside this, new climate models are refining what habitable means, accounting for stellar type, tidal locking, and atmospheric dynamics. Complementary missions also study moons and small worlds in our solar system to assess their habitability. Together, these initiatives aim to reveal where life might exist, both near and far. Polaris Dawn Polaris Dawn represents a groundbreaking moment in private orbital exploration, marking SpaceX's bold entry into advanced commercial human spaceflight under the Polaris program led by Jared Isaacman. Aboard the Crew Dragon Resilience, the four-member crew Isaacman, Scott Petit, Sarah Gillis, and Anna Menon achieved an impressive orbital altitude of approximately 1,400 kilometers, venturing through the Van Allen radiation belts to study the effects of radiation on human physiology and spacecraft systems. The mission included the world's first commercial extravehicular activity using newly designed SpaceX EVA suits engineered for vacuum operation and enhanced mobility. During the five-day journey, the crew conducted biomedical and scientific research focusing on decompression safety and microgravity effects on human health. Polaris Dawn also tested Starlink's laser-based communications and data transfer systems, setting the stage for long-duration missions. As the first mission of the Polaris series, it serves as a foundation for future deep space objectives and human readiness for Moon and Mars expeditions. 
Starship Mission Mars SpaceX's Starship mission represents the most ambitious step yet in humanity's pursuit of interplanetary travel. Designed as a fully reusable two-stage rocket system, Starship combines the immense power of the Super Heavy booster with a multi-purpose upper stage capable of carrying crew and cargo across deep space. Led by Elon Musk, the mission aims to establish a sustainable human presence on Mars by first deploying robotic landers to test systems and surface conditions. These early flights will evaluate atmospheric entry, descent, and landing performance, as well as in-orbit refueling processes crucial for interplanetary transport. Future missions will include life support testing, habitat deployment, and infrastructure development to support long-term human habitation. The ultimate objective is a self-sustaining city on Mars, built through multiple Starship launches during each favorable alignment between Earth and Mars. With advancements in reusable propulsion, autonomy and communication, SpaceX's Starship stands as the cornerstone of humanity's next great frontier. JAXA HTVX JAXA's HTVX is Japan's next-generation unmanned cargo spacecraft designed to succeed the HTV Kunotori while combining ISS resupply with extended orbital technology demonstrations. It can carry approximately 4,070 kilograms of pressurized cargo and 1,750 kilograms of unpressurized cargo, with optimized rack layouts and exposed cargo mounts for maximum efficiency. Cargo loading can occur as late as 24 hours before launch, allowing delivery of fresh supplies and time-sensitive experiments. HTVX can remain berthed at the ISS for up to six months and continue autonomous technology demonstrations in orbit for as long as 18 months after departure. Its simplified propulsion subsystem integrates thrusters and piping for reliability, while advanced communication pathways, including ISS proximate links, satellite relay, and ground networks, ensure continuous control and data flow. The spacecraft's flexible structure allows future uses such as docking with other platforms, supporting orbital infrastructure, or enabling in-space servicing. HTVX represents a major step in Japan's pursuit of versatile long-duration and cooperative space operations.